You may have heard that the conforming loan limits have increased for 2020. That's great. What does that mean for you as a homeowner, as a potential homeowner? I'm talking about all about the actual benefits to you, and we're getting started right now. Hey, what's going on? I'm Emmett Dempsey, Mortgage Advisor with Geneva Financial here in beautiful Port St. Lucie, Florida, and welcome to another Mortgage and Home Buying Tip. This is your first time here and you want to learn more about mortgages or the home buying process in general, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, the conforming loan limit has increased. Uh, in t for 2020, it's going to 510400 That's wonderful. What does it mean for you? Bottom line is it'll increase your purchasing price power as a buyer, um, as well as save you money on your cash to close if you buy in the jumbo territory. I'm going I'm to show you a direct example here in a minute. But first, I want to go over what an actual conforming loan is and what that means for you. Conforming loan is a one that conforms to Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac guidelines. And those are, those are standard mortgage underwriting guidelines that we in the industry follow. And uh, what that means for you is that uh, it allows you to put a smaller down payment amounts, whereas a, a, a conforming mortgage, you put a little like 3% down, 5% down. You go over that loan limit of 510400 you go into jumbo territory. And you go into portfolio guidelines, into their uh, their guidelines, and generally it's like at least 20% down or more, uh, usually harder underwriting standards, especially if you've had any kind of credit issues, you know, the very, very, very best credit. So it just becomes harder to, to qualify for these mortgages. So trying to get a conforming loan is always the best option when, when uh, getting a conventional loan. So uh, without further ado, here's the direct example about why it affects you. Okay, here are the main benefits of the increased loan limits for 2020. Basically, what it's going to do is going to increase your purchase price power and lessen your cash to close. So let's do an actual example. Uh, in 2019, the max loan was 484,350, and you can say if I wanted to put 5%, 10%, or 20% down, those are usually the options I I, uh, I show my clients. You can see what the maximum purchase price would be in order for you to do so. So if you want to put down 5%. The maximum loan to get a conforming loan is 509842 and so on and so forth. And you can compare that to the 2020 loan. Now it's 510400. Basically, your purchase price is increased. So uh, in order to get a conforming loan, uh, you'll put 5% down instead of 509. Now it's 537. So bottom line, it's 5% more purchasing power across the board. Okay, so how does it lessen your cash? So let's, let, let, let's look at a, uh, at a jumbo property in, in the 650 range. So you want to buy a $650,000 property. And the maximum conforming loan in 2019 was 44350 So your max purchase price, 650 leaves about a 165 650 Either you get a, a piggyback uh, HELOC or cash out of pocket. But in 2020, uh, that goes from 165 down to 139 That's $26,000 less or 15.7% less cash out of your pocket. So that's how the uh, conforming loan limit increase in 2020 benefits you. Okay, and welcome back. Hopefully that was an informative illustration as to why the conforming loan limit increase matters to you as a buyer or as a, a current owner, but how it can save you money on your purchase price range or save you money on your cash to close. So if you want any personalized mortgage advice, you can look at a buy a house, refinance a house, I can show you how these new loan limits might fit into your personal financial plan. Give me a call, go to DempseyMortgage.com. Uh, and again, if you want to learn more about mortgages, the home buying process in general, go and subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.